but it's fun. But and, and for what it was back then, it was great. But now there's games that do the sword fighting gimmick thing better, I think. But you can at least take a look at it. All right. The weapons are very floppy in Gorn. It's like using LARP weapons. That's the main issue with it. They're, they haven't solved that problem yet. But, you know, it has its own charm. Hmm. The enemies are also really easy. <laughs> they telegraph all their blows and stuff. Caster mm, is experiencing some controller issues. In worst case scenario, Caster, we maybe try a keyboard if uh, it continues failing. Uh... I think it's Parsec and Steam conflicting, so I can just join through Steam if not. That's what would there, is not, uh, there is no sound even right now. Like there was a sound for Mojo taking control, mm -hmm. not a single sound of uh, Caster. Okay, now there is a sound. Yeah. Okay, so probably his end then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Hmm, nice. classical matchup. Easy versus Lazlo. Yeah. I, I, I think a really know. good Lazlo is actually a counter, but at the same time, a good Izzy can give him a really good fight, so. Really well matched. Just very different. It's really 50 50 match. Yeah. It's really dependent on the players. Yeah. Even back in the old days, I think it was like that. I mean, given my experience against Warden in the old version. Yep. Yep. The Victoria was uh, always competing with Warden in this matchup. Laszlo has some really uh, weak points in his defenses that uh, modularizing. If he knew, could uh, abuse it, uh, but so far, Caster playing really tight. That classic in and out game makes it difficult to exploit those weaknesses, and that punch actually was not followed up. However, that slash lands. Yeah, Caster lift and expose his weak side. So Isabella needs to watch out for, especially is exactly that hits to the head. That one-two is a very good forcing move. It can be defended, but it's also really easy to say parry with the first move and to think, oh, I can just cut, but then you get hit in the head or whatever. It just keeps you on the defensive, keeps the initiative on Laszlo's side, and he can retreat and throw another cut if you try and counter, even after blocking those two cuts. I think Castor is doing better with Hootsies right now. Yeah. Yeah, he can do some mistakes like oh, this, but... Oh, And a snap cut lands. Playing oh, no, really just... stationary easy is not advisable in this matchup. Yeah, you need to back and forth more play with distance. Missed time there, I think. He tried to counter or something and another hit came through. Custer's doing a good job of just keeping initiative on his side. And obviously better foot, yeah. like you were saying. I love how one dimensional this, like at one level this fight is. The both players always going either forward or backwards. Mm -hmm. It's and like the title in Tekken. Uh, I play only in 2D or something like that. Or 2D is enough for me. Something yeah. like that. Exchange. Defenses are sharp, but pressure is oh. definitely on Mojo to win this one. Uh, because one flag is all Custer needs to win this round. Yeah, he got a, need some deep, deep, deep luck and a nice oh, Russian there. Nice. Yeah, Mojo needs to attack. Mojo needs to keep finding that initiative like that. Maybe throw some sidestep attacks like. Left A from right leg forward. Or oh, a right B from left leg forward. Yeah, maybe some trust as well. Yeah. Could be very helpful. Last bow's trust actually hit it harder. Oh, they're oh, just so tired. Close. It's danger. Oh, what oh, an exchange. Nice. <laughs> oh, he's just tired. tired. <laughs> 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 GG. Nice. 
And it's uh, one zero. Also, Major really needs to implement those snap cuts. Uh, yep. Yeah, counter attacking's yeah, good, fast. but the problem is Laszlo just backs up as soon as the spell tries one of those. So you can't be flat footed, like Tyler is saying. You gotta, you gotta actually move. Yep. That's literally one of the main points for Laszlo to use in this matchup. You have to move a lot because you are slightly reach disadvantaged. So you are trying to compensate it with your mm -hmm. fast movement, with precise pixies. And then when like you are deciding to attack, the mm -hmm. forward Y, the startup of the combo, has surprisingly great reach because he's making a really wide step forward. Yeah. That said, Mojo using the point this time to get a kill early on. Good idea. Yep. Yeah, trying to find some initiative, but keeps going with the same angle. Ooh, what yeah, the yeah, that's better. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was parried though. Good try by Mojo. Yeah, it's like one Dino was saying block, earlier. One block. Some thrusts are really useful in this matchup too. And not only neutral, but like cut into thrust combos too. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah, that was bound to happen right there. They both got too close, so they both went for the head. Yeah, it's such a distance, it's usually a double. Yeah, I love Isabella's trust because it's so easy to follow it up with a Y, Y spam afterwards, mm -hmm. or like another... Oh, that looked... Oh, nice. uh, that barely missed for Mojo and Pester gets another one. Sean Grillo, yeah, it's really look. clean fight. I was expecting easy to land that attack after defeating two Lazlo's cuts. But no, somehow Laz will carry it. Yeah, or it whiffed, you know, Another double. Just uh, flew by the nose. Yeah, Custer's playing a smart game, but when he turns up the heat, he really does turn up the heat. And Mojo just doesn't seem to have a response for it. Nice. Oh, one blocked, one blocked. Very clean. Another oh. one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of those. <laughs> Bullshit recoveries that I yep. was talking about earlier. <laughs> yeah, I call those lightsaber moments. <laughs> the animation doesn't match what the game thinks is happening. <laughs> uh, my uh, hypothesis is that um, when you land the killing blow on your opponent, whatever attack uh, that said opponent was doing gets. Uh, like not in hands, but it sort of finishes faster. Like game decides, mm -hmm. is it in time to land as an after blow or not? And if game yeah. says, okay, it, it can land as an after blow, it skips the entire animation yeah. completely because the character is real and it's like in hit spam animation. But that attack, because mm -hmm. like it has no proper collision detection, etc., it just goes through, and that's it. I'm uh, really liking what uh, Mojo is doing, he's now a little bit more passive and attacking from a little bit different angles, like focusing on countering a little bit, not throwing like big whips, and uh, yeah, finally ahead a little bit. Yeah, and he, oh, started, he, started, he, started, he started moving less more. Yeah. Dangerous. Custer playing the long game, then he swoops in when Mojo is vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah, but I agree, Mojo got the idea. He's moving more, and he it's needs, useful. He, he needs to faint. Oh, that's not a trade. Oh no, I see Lazlo a little bit hurt, but he'll be fine. Yeah, just not a favorable one. What helps Lazlo here is he just has such an easy time hitting the head if there's an opening. Mm -hmm. So that really helps him when trades like that happen. But yeah. That's generally true for all longsword. You want to hit the head of the character. He has some nice damage in those Ooh, attacks, but just because he stands and emphasizes high cuts, it's usually easy for him to land most of the attacks that he had. Yeah. I feel like e easy allowing Lazo to get way, way too close. Like, she could definitely yeah, that's part like, of it. Uh, Keep him way more at range, but uh, with these short slashes, uh, Caster just uh, is able to fight in the pocket and win in the pocket. And he gets a uh, 3-0. Same matchup again. 
sensible since they're both familiar with those characters. Yeah, well, it's time for Mojo's redemption story or Custer's dominant performance. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think Mojo, if he goes to close quarters, needs to sidestep attacks more. Because most of his attacks are just too linear and he's literally just hitting the block and then get punishment. <laughs> yeah, all doubles like that. Yeah. If he uses more of those sidestep attacks, it could be useful for him. Or, yeah, another way to approach it is to try to keep the range maximum distance possible, throw so thrust from it, some retreating attacks. Ooh, if only he followed up with a low one attack, that would be a kill. Oh. And two, oh. three. Keep, keep, Harry. keep, keep spamming, oh, keep God. spamming. Yeah. Mojo's gonna keep going. Nice. Mojo has it, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh my god, the trust went into nothing, it disappeared. <laughs> yeah, thankfully for uh, Custer, sometimes Blanco is not too bad at protecting his head. <laughs> That's what saved him initially, but he was too tired. I think the hit actually st uh, stunned him even more though, even though he did parry it, so... Oh. oh, initial feint was interesting, but counter-attack was not really that good for Linea, that's why it was blocked. Yeah, and uh, that uh, B button could probably oh, nice. do magic, nice. and a nice sword flip afterwards, it's the sort of boink. Man, if only they had the ragdoll physics as good as the sword, sword ones, because sword physics, whenever they bounce, it's really nice. Oh, nice oh. parries, good defense by both. Mm. Oh, he went through this oh. angle that was Patience. defended. Yeah. Patience. If Custer were to attack, he should have gone for like an X cut. The X cut angle is the most open. Yeah. Because Mojo wasn't moving, he was waiting. Oh, danger. <laughs> danger. Oh. Nice, nice step. Long guard to keep the corner away, but he's oh, tired. Custer must finish it. But not in oh. time. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done by Mojo. <laughs> what a great fight from uh, two new guys. Uh, really enjoyable. Uh, block heavy, they don't throw like continuous attacks, but uh, quite calculated, clean, a lot of blocking. It's a cut on the range. No. Those thrusts are often launched out of measure. Mojo needs to find the measure for them, for them to be effective. Otherwise, Lanzo will happily avoid them. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also a good idea to move diagonally before starting them to avoid auto guard. Mm -hmm. That was a nice exchange, by the way, while we were commenting on that, actually. Yeah. Well, whenever... I uh, guess Mojo managed to adjust to this matchup, he's slowly searching for his options. Nice. Yeah. Well, whenever your opponent does back and forth, uh, you can really start timing, like counters and thrust, to uh, calculate the range. Oh. A nice one from Mojo. Yeah, Mojo needs to take back control. Yeah, Mojo not giving up, he wants this. This is uh, his redemption song. This is his Midnight Blues. Can they exchange? That was a dangerous cut for Lanslo to use there. It was good to hear he's out of measure, actually. <laughs> now there, it made sense to use it, but unfortunately, a double. I'm now thinking about uh, the door, all the door spawns I could create right now with Mojo. Oh. Nice upcut, it went through the guard because he was moving in, but it's a double. Yeah, it was a good timing for it, but Plasma's attacks are just so fast. Yep. Yeah, again, the thrust out of measure, I think they're just giving Custer opportunities. 
when you're with like that. Ooh, Ooh. the trust. Where you did the trust go? Trust, but yeah, he did it just... I think he inputted it a little bit later than needed. Indeed. Pressure's on now, double. Which Mojo's probably pleased with, just because if that was Custer's win, it'd be over. Custer looking for the opportunity to find a kill. You can just tell. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. one, two. Oh. Oh, that was a dangerous zone and trusted oh, not war. 